What's up fellow citizens of the world, Jordan Patrick here and welcome to my channel. So I participated in this reality show Killer Camp and I'm bringing you the highlights. So here's season 2 episode 6. Oniva say batis. Do you guys hear something? <laughs> Surprise to see oh me? Oh my gosh. No way. <laughs> it's a new <laughs> camper! How's it going guys? My name is Kobe. What's up? I'm here to steal all the girls and win the money. Why is everyone so serious? Because their friends keep getting murdered, which is why I brought you in to help them sniff out the killer. Kobe stepping into camp blew my mind. That was the last thing I expected tonight. Hey, Kobe. Kobe is definitely my type. Tall and handsome. He's a jock, and I think he'll bring in a lot of money to the camp. You're one of us now. Welcome to Camp Pleasant. Make sure you go to bed pretty soon because tomorrow is another chance to unmask the killer. It's Moon Off Day! Welcome to the dorm! Wow, hello! Kobe seems wicked. Like, he's just brought a really nice energy into the camp. I already love you for the cowboy hat. It's amazing. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute now. This place is pretty cool, though, I must say. Yeah, man, like, this place is awesome. Minus the fact that one of you guys could kill me in an instant. In this room, there's literally someone who has been killing all these people. And Bruce does all the dirty work. Yeah. You get a day to figure out who it is. You get it now? Get it now. Get it now. was like such a blessing. The witch is dead. She was the worst. <laughs> Positive vibes are radiant today. Kobe's a tank. Clyde, Gabe, they got nothing on Kobe. I definitely think he's cute. I hope he thinks I'm cute. Who you got an eye on? I'm feeling sorry with Loki. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cowgirl. Yeah. Cowgirl. Yeah. Ah, yes. You guys would look so good together. <laughs> this morning, the vibes are quite jovial, to be honest. But obviously, I had a target on my back yesterday. You've been flying under the radar way too much. You're in every group, and that's why I'm starting to think you're the killer. Fair enough. I was a bit upset last night, I have to be honest with you. I want to apologize for not coming up to you beforehand. You know, I've been talking to Clyde about it, who we think could be the possible killer. SJ was caught off guard, but at the same time, we do have to start suspecting people in order to figure out who the killer is. I'm starting to feel that Gabe and Clyde have a little bond together. It's them versus the world. Let's go! Come to the game field! Hello, campers! Hi, hey, Bobby. Bobby! It's vote off day at Camp Pleasant! Tonight, the killer might be revealed. I'm feeling so nervous for tonight's vote off. We can't risk losing another innocent and make the killer's job even easier. We can't do it tonight. Are you ready to win some money? Yeah! yeah. This game is called Lick It Real Good. Three campmates will be blindfolded and then guided across the field for a delicious platter of home-cooked cuisine. Using only their tongues, they must push the food aside and reveal what letters lay beneath. Campmates must work out with a three-letter spell in order to bank the cat. There is a huge $7,000 to be won in this game! Woo! Yeah. But the killer amongst you will engage in sabotage. Any cash not won by the innocents goes directly into the killer's pocket. Clyde, Syra, Kobe, you're up first. Woo! Come on, guys. Two, one! A little bit to your left, Kobe. Good job, Clyde! I still smell it. I can't get it out of my nose. It's horrible, rotten fish. Ew! It's a, it's a J. We've got a J from Clyde. Oh. It's an A. A from Kobe. With Ten seconds left. Eight, <coughs> seven, <coughs> six, five. <coughs> It's a W, it's a jaw, it's W, it's W. Time is up. 
Well done, guys. You finally got the word. Yeah. And you won $1,500 yeah. for the innocence. Yeah. I knew it was super important to prove myself today, and I think I accomplished that. Next up, we have Bella, Gabe, and SJ. I know, it's just really slippery. Bella, speed up. Stop acting like you're the killer. Bella, the other way. Where? You are eating disgusting, <laughs> rotten cheese. Disgusting. I would say this game was the worst so far. <laughs> oh, SJ. <Ashley. laughs> SJ, that is not a good noise for Camp Pleasant. <laughs> I mean, it's an A. An A from SJ. I think mine's an R. An A and an R. 30 seconds remaining. Wait, am I even in the right place? Bella, shove your face into the rotten garbage food. <laughs> Bella definitely did not pull her weight in that challenge. It was really frustrating to watch. I think it's an eight. Does that make sense? No. Oh. It's a letter with like two things. Six. Is it an M? Arm, arm, arm. Three, two, arm, arm. Arm. It's arm. I hope so. I really hope so. For fuck's sake. Arm. Crack it. <laughs> Because you're new, you get to go again, Kobe! Oh, the cash game was so nasty. And it made it 10 times worse that I had to do it twice. Oh. Oh. It's dog food bolognese! Mummy's recipe for her bad boys! <laughs> S, 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 O! S. Mine's an O, it's definitely an O! My play is gone! Two left! Ten, yes, nine, eight, Come on, Mara. seven, six, Mara. five, Mara. four, Mara. three, two, Mara. one! Mara. I have no idea. S O. So. That is $1,500 to the killer! Mora, you didn't get a letter. Couldn't work out the letter. She definitely could have tried a lot more harder than she did. Sorry, guys, I really am. Make some help, girl. At least don't make yourself look like the murderer. So I have had some tea this morning. One of the boys is quite into you. Kobe. Oh, that's so exciting. So I've got my eye on you. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> that feels pretty good, hoping that he's someone I can really trust here. You all right, darling? Oh, baby, you sad? Don't be sad, it's That's okay, all right. come here. Oh, dolls, dolls. Aww. I don't know what to say. One person in the whole challenge messed up, it was me. Like, I built myself off at this point. Oh, it's just, I've literally been accused of being the murderer since day one, and then yesterday was the first day people were like, we don't think you're the murderer. And then the, I was the only person that screwed up, so obviously it just looks like I'm the murderer. There's no way. I don't think that you're the killer, personally. I don't. I've got my eyes on other people. Have you? Why are Gabe and Clyde so important? They're influencers, really, aren't they? Today on the challenge, Maura, she was like, ooh, ooh. She, like, didn't even attempt to guess what the letter was. It's not that hard. She lost the plate at first glance, like... My plate is gone! It just feels too calculated sometimes. It feels a little too prepared, and I don't know if I believe it. It's so nice having Gabe in here as a trusted ally. We're pretty much on the same wavelength when it comes to killer theories, especially. Theory A, SJ. Yep. We got a new bro, Kobe. Yeah. My first impression, I feel like I can trust the guy with oh, my life. I, I agree with that, a hundo P. I think we can trust that he would at least vote with us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Bella. Bella. Yeah. Bella, the other way! Where? She's so much smarter than she lets on, man. Big time. Clyde is just so dodgy, isn't he? <laughs> it's just so convenient, this bromance between him and Gabe. It's just off. You have another chance here to win some vital clues to the killer's identity. Bruce knows who the killer is and has five clues hidden inside his cabin. You must find the hidden Polaroids to lead you to the clues. You better be quick, though, because Bruce doesn't like unwanted visitors. <laughs> Last time the killer left you all confused. The killer would not admit to being a cheat. The killer will be back. 
The killer has designer taste. And the killer is fishy. Let's hope this time you do better. Guys, you got this. I think that me and you are the best two to figure this out. We're gonna get them. I think so. They are going in. Oh, hell no. Deep breaths and try and stay as calm as you can. Make sure and those keys, and the keys go to the cabinet. Be quiet. This is not ideal right now. Oh, goodness. You're gonna have to do it. Okay, fine, I'll do it. This is not gonna be good. Cody, I'm scared. Cody, calm down. Oh my god, he freaking moved, yo. You're doing really good. Thank you. I have one clue. They got it. Good job, guys. Good job. Go into the fridge now. Oh my god, Bray. What the heck? <laughs> Put your hand, whatever it is, just grab it. The fridge is beeping! Close the fridge, close the fridge. Close the fridge. Hurry up, get out. The Great job, guys, good job. Now look where the next clue might be with that picture. Oh! So sorry. Oh! I'm wrong. We need the clue, we need it, keep going. It's right here, it's right here. Up. Rummage through those teddy bears. Okay. I love you. I'm not you. I don't know. I love you. You're making too much noise. Bruce is coming home. You guys need to hurry up. I love you. Look at the picture. Maybe there's an indicator on the picture of which bear it is. Here's, what's the picture? Run! It's time to leave. You guys are gonna have to run out. Is it a food, some type of food bowl? There's a bowl outside. Leave now, leave now. Get outside. Look at the ball, look at the ball, look at the ball. Oh. Okay, let's go. Four, close. The killer doesn't add up. The killer took orders. The killer is not a citizen of the world. The killer is a... Cenophile. Cenophile. What does that mean? Oh, huh? I don't know, actually. Cenophile. What does that mean, Bobby? Bobby has to go. Goodbye. I'm not ruling anyone out. I'm just trying to keep myself cool and collected and figure out exactly who the killer is so we can unmask him. Citizen of the world is someone who's like tends to be quite a globe trotter, right? You know, someone who's like, oh, I've been living in uh, eight different countries over the last 10 years. You know, I'm a citizen of the world. I'm from Ireland. I lived in Turkey for a year. I'm now the UK. I feel like that kind of rules out more of. This game honestly has my head frazzled. Just when I think I've worked it out, a plot twist does come. I'm from New Jersey, I live in New York. I'm from California and I moved to Chichester, England. I'm from Yorkshire and I've moved to London, but it's not abroad, but. Bella and SJ, you guys stayed in the same country. I'm just talking out loud. We're gonna talk about who the killer is. I wanna talk out loud. Today I'm really gonna keep my eyes on Clyde and Gabe because after yesterday's events, I just can't not. The killer takes orders. Nobody's ever been a waiter or a waitress in here of any sort. Never. I, I mean, not me. I'm a hair and, hair and makeup artist. I'm a student. I study poli sci. But you don't have like any side jobs or anything. What, what other jobs have you had? I worked as like a PA for a hedge fund. Personal assistant. That takes orders. Yeah, but Laurel works at hospitality. I'm, I'm my own boss. I don't take orders. Why are you deflecting? Just answer our questions, like. She was having to think about what she was saying, and that made it suspicious. But I didn't work full time. That's I, still, a job, still a job. But the boys definitely have a tendency to push their viewer opinion literally down your throat. Bella, let me just say, I'm not the IRS. Like, I'm not auditing you. Like, I'm just asking a question regarding like, your oh, work. Oh, my. <laughs> We're definitely the dream team. That was intense. It was, I was very intense. <laughs> not anything I was expecting. But the good thing is we found four out of the five clues, which is pretty good. Absolutely, pretty good. Yeah. I definitely like Kobe. It was scary. I was so mad I got so... <laughs> I was so mad. But I'm honestly terrified to get close to him here at Camp Pleasant. Anytime two people get really close, one of them dies. It's a bit disheartening that people are pointing fingers at me, you know? Okay, we're going off past clues. The killer will be back. The killer would not admit to being a cheat. The killer is fishy, and the killer has designer taste. There's only one person that walks around with designer stuff, like a bag, Bella. 
I agree with that. But I don't know how the other clues point to Bella. So the killer took orders. Personal assistant. Yeah, with a strange reaction. She was lying about it, which was fishy. I don't even have a job. And like for people who do have jobs here, everybody has taken orders from their boss. Yeah. Like it makes like no sense. Just because I didn't understand the question, I'm a liar. Is that a joke? The killer's not a citizen of the world. SJ, he's stated just in England. I just don't think it's SJ because he was answering things honestly, clearly, not trying to dodge anything. I'm just saying, Clyde is so smart. So true. Honestly, I'm scared. I'm really thinking the killer is Clyde right now. I think it's gotta be both. And he's just like, so monotone. Like, it's just weird. I reckon case closed, man. It's, it's a wrap, it's a wrap. A lot of people are gonna be voting for Bella tonight. But at this point, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. It's time to guess which friend is making us go dead dead. Come to the campfire. I wanna see the look in Bella's eyes when she says, I am the killer. Because I think she's played a genius game. Clyde is framing me to campaign and be like, vote for Bella tonight, vote for Bella tonight. Like you freaking sicko. It's way too shady. Tonight, you will vote again for who you believe to be the killer. I think that Clyde and I have cracked who the killer is. Who? We both suspect that it is indeed Bella. It's like heartbreaking because all I wanted was just to be like a light in the group and just to make everyone laugh and to make money for us. So if I do get voted out, I hope to God you find the real killer because it hurts and just, I love you guys. You guys are like my new family. And <laughs> before I get killed, tell like my dog, my mom, my fiance, I love them. In Bella's defense there, when a couple of people in a group who are very influential come at you in that situation, it's very hard to, to keep you cool. We've obviously acted and reacted to that in different ways. I don't think you can come at Bella's reaction. If we're going based on the clues, the, the killer doesn't add up. I add up math, and I talk about one more clue. You know what doesn't it's add up? Killing your fucking girlfriend. What? Huh? Some of the clues do match up to Bella. Some of the clues match up to Clyde, and some of them match up to SJ. Campers, the person with the most votes will leave camp tonight. Majority rules. To start with, I'm choosing this person because I think she's an evil little genius, and I think she's played a great game. I think the killer is Bella. I feel like they are very smart. And I feel like I have to just trust my gut and my intuition. I think the killer is Clyde. I'm choosing this person because the evidence points right at them and she's sabotaged every game. Bella. I'm choosing this person because he's the smartest out of all of us. And I think killing Valentina was very tactical and he's always been so tactical. Clyde. The liar. I've got to think tactically. Clyde. Oh, it's not looking good, Clyde. Maura, you're up next. I'm choosing this person because I originally suspected them and then I got framed to be the killer. And then today they decided I wasn't the killer and I've been brainwashed to believe it could only be one person. I think that the killer is... Clyde. If Clyde gets one more vote, he will be eliminated from camp. Syra, who do you think is the killer? Clyde. I'm so sorry, Clyde. Shit. Who would you have voted for? Sadly, Clyde. Damn, that hurts, bro. 
you and Gabe obviously have a little pet going on. I don't know what it is, but I noticed Clyde is like the mastermind behind everything. You just got here yesterday. You really honestly don't know what's going on. Six votes to two, Clyde. You are charged with being the killer. But we have to know, are you the killer or are you innocent? I'm not the killer. Holy oh, shit. No. Oh. Listen, guys, listen. The oh. clues point directly to the person. Bella, that's it. Period. That's it. And Bella's one right now. Sadly, you must leave Camp Pleasant never to return. Yeah, we screwed up, but at the end of the day, the two boys did need to be separated. What the frick just happened, honestly? Once upon a night. It was a farmer's field. He approached the straw man. Clyde turned over the sign to reveal his own name. He recoiled in fear and ran into Bruce. Clyde held up his hands in fear. Bruce swung aside. Look, mummy, no hands. He fled for the trees with his stumps oh, pumping ah. like bloody super soakers. And then bang, slammed it down and took off a foot. Yeah. Clyde was hopping mad, whipped out his trust in tears, and in a flurry of slippity fucking slips, he cut off the arms and legs, leaving a bloody torso. Bruce picked up uh -huh. what was left of him and screwed him onto the scarecrow's legs before finishing the creation with a mask. He wasn't even a very good scarecrow. The killer is still amongst you and another innocent has been slain in the dark. So I hope you enjoyed these highlights of episode six. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for episode seven. A la prochaine, ciao, ciao for now.